Hiya, this is Nettie and welcome back to Squishy's house. So um, basically I have been doing some work off camera as well. Um, I did, um, I've been like doing some extra bits like on the shrubbery, on the tree. So as you can see it's a lot fuller now, looking a lot more tree shaped. You, I don't know if you guys will believe me, I just sat there one evening and I think I started at about like 8.30 in the evening and I was like oh I'm just gonna sit here and do um, some of the shrubbery and things like that and I started doing it and the next thing I knew it was 1.30 in the morning and I was still doing it, it took me absolutely ages like by the end of it like my hands hurt to press the buttons, I was sat awkwardly, I ached, it was insane like I was sat there for so long so it I'm quite glad I chose to do it like off camera in the end um, just because of how long it took but um, it is done now and it looks more tree shaped and I'm a lot happier with it. So you guys have to guess what I'm doing today. We only have a couple of signs left for us to do. So you're gonna have to see if you can, you're gonna have to look back and see if you can work out what it is I'm doing. But one thing I did want to talk to you guys about. So last episode, I did the advanced redstone and apparently a lot of you were very happy with the fact that I built the word advanced in redstone and a lot of you were saying that I cheated and um, some people went as far as to say that I'm a lazy person and things like that so some people started getting really really mean about it but one thing I want to point out to you guys like it's not cheating it this isn't a competition this isn't a exam it isn't a game it isn't anything it's squishy and i decided to build each other a house for fun and we just gave each other a list of things that we had to include in it and so how can you cheat in something that isn't a game because or anything because it's there's nothing there's no way of cheating it's like just for fun um but aside from that it was just i was literal with the word like so um and like there's like other things that I don't think people moan about like so um I don't I don't oh, I don't know like so I guess like pumpkin pie like I could either place a pumpkin pie place a pumpkin pie or just fill a chest with pump, pumpkin pie or I could build a pumpkin pie like there's no right or wrong thing to do it's just I have to do what's on the sign and so technically it's right and the reason I did it so um, I was actually trying to avoid hate comments and like nasty comments because um, I've never done redstone before it's something I've never like I've literally just never done and so um, I knew that if I did it um, I would be quite slow at it I'd probably make mistakes and I, I just thought I was gonna get a load of comments of everyone being like netty you noob like play a game that you can play and like because these are all genuine comments that I get from people like people saying like, you shouldn't do this like you're rubbish blah 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 like you're a noob like don't do this and um and so I kind of wanted to avoid hurtful comments so I thought by doing it as like a jokey comment or something like a jokey build then no one can really be mean about it because it's just a joke but apparently some people worked out how to do that still but it's okay like um <laughs> but I'm just saying like I I don't think it's cheating it was just a joke and it was meant to be silly and fun but it kind of gets ruined as silly and fun when everyone just has a go at you about it. But it's how it is. So that is it and it is done and that is how it's staying. There will not be any more redstone in this series. The other thing what you guys have to remember is some people are saying it's unfair because Squish took on the challenge of doing the note blocks and stuff. Um, which is fair enough, like that's a challenge for her, like it was good, she did really well. But what you've got to understand is the whole series for me is a challenge. Like I don't do any building. This whole thing has been a challenge. Like I'm an awful builder, like I'm so slow. You can even see there, like I'm placing blocks by mistake, like putting them in wrong places. Sometimes I'll make something, decide I don't like it, break it, redo it. Like I don't know exactly what I'm doing and I'm not that quick at it or anything. So this whole series has been a massive, massive challenge for me. I've never built anything so big. And to be honest, I'm quite chuffed with it. I love my picnic table. Um, the build I'm doing today, um, I'm really pleased with as well. Um, I like how that went and like I've never built like any of the stuff that I've built before like I love my picnic basket and 
I'm really, really chuffed with it. And the whole thing has been a massive, massive challenge for me. Whereas for Squishy, building is something she does regularly. So the, her challenge bit was like the extra things, like the um, like the note block song and stuff. So that, that's the other thing that you've got to think about. Um, but anyway, enough of serious space nerdy. That's all I have to say on the matter. Um, let's go on to some questions. So, I have been asked, would I rather live underground or in the clouds? This is easy for me, in the clouds. I've always wanted to be able to live in the clouds and like run and jump across them. Because I imagine them being like a bouncy castle. I know obviously that's not realistic and that's not actually what they're like. But if I was to live in them, that's what I imagine. It would be just like really cool to be up high. And I think like... Um, in all my survival series and stuff, like my favourite houses are always the ones like that are up high. I don't think I actually have really any low down ones. They're either on a hill or by the water, I guess. They're either by the water or up high. I've got so many tree houses and on hip mountains and hills and things like that. I just I just prefer being up high, so I'd definitely say in the sky. What is my typical day as a YouTuber? This one's quite hard because every day is completely different. So sometimes I will, um, I, I might have a day where I'm like just solidly recording. Um, so it, I change it up. So I might have like a recording day where I'll do like a few bulk recordings or something like that. And then um, the next day I might then have like an editing day and then I'll do loads of editing. So it, it completely depends. Um, on what I'm doing so um, yeah it, I often spend a lot of time at the computer and then I go away to a lot of events which is really cool um, Oh, loads of you have been asking if I am dating Kaf from One Life no I am not <laughs> Kaf and I only met for the first time when we did One Life we haven't known each other for very long um, and he is just a friend um, I promise all of you that I'm not dating anyone that I record with. So just so you know, that is that is a true fact. So all the ships for Tomahawk, Minimooka, Calf, um I can't think of who else there's been now, yeah. So I don't I don't date anyone I record with. So there you go. And also like um yeah, like some people can just be friends guys. <laughs> that is a thing. Uh, what's the next event I'm going to? The next event I'm going to is actually Insomnia Island, which is in like two weeks from now, I think. Yeah, it's not next weekend. It's the weekend after. Uh, so I'll be in at Insomnia Island then. Just to make you know, um, let you know even, uh, with this, um, because this build like took like such a long time, even though it's sped up, it still was like way too long. So um, when it's like I'm doing a big bit off like the same, I've cut that bit out and then like added in. So you can still see all like the main building bits, but there is a few cuts in it. Um, I hope you guys don't mind. Um, but yeah, so Insomnia Island, really super excited for that. That's going to be really, really good fun. Um, I can't wait. Um, and then the next event after that, I think is then the big Insomnia in summer. I think that is. I don't think there's another event in between them. I'm not too sure. Um, what's my favourite mini game? Everyone knows that, Speed UHC. <laughs> That's always my favourite, I love Speed UHC. I, I think it's because I enjoy mining and things, so with Speed UHC it's like the mad panic, the pressure, like running around collecting everything and then like, but you're not just collecting stuff for nothing, you're then going to a battle at the end, so then it's kind of like a, I don't know, I just really enjoy it. Um, my favourite mod? I can't tell you my favourite mod at the moment because it, I've I've recorded a new series so you can't know what it is because the new series goes out Wednesday so I'll answer that question again next week when the first episode's gone out so then because I don't want to give anything away about the series but I've started a new well I can tell you who it's with I've started a new series with Salem um, Salem's Lady so that will be starting on Wednesday so I'm really super excited for that to go out it's really good fun and funny and I've really enjoyed it um, what have I done this week? Um, I can't really tell you because then that will ruin Rubbish Rambles, I guess. Because Rubbish Rambles is tomorrow and I've got to, and obviously I tell you about my week and that. So I'm not going to tell you. You'll have to watch Rubbish Rambles tomorrow. Um, 
what servers do I go on? Um, I go on quite a few servers. I go on UHC Zone a lot for fun. Um, I often, like, even if, like, I'll often try and manage to get, like, one game off UHC a day. <laughs> so I'm always on UHC Zone. Um, sometimes go on Eximius as well, which is another server with UHC. But then for mini games, and one of the servers I record on the most is Hypixel. Um, just because they have so many mini games, there's so much you can do on there, which is really good. Um, and then I also go on CCN um, for Treasure Trackers and 1v1. Um, and then, yeah, and then sometimes the Enchanter Dial, but I've not really been on there a lot recently. But yeah, they're probably the servers. Um, worst moment in Minecraft? I can't tell you that either. Okay, I've had a worst moment in Minecraft, but it's not come out in episode yet. It's in my world of no name, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. You're going to have to wait and see. But I can actually, my worst moment up to date that I can tell you about was also in the world of no name. And it was um, when I did a build up and I fell off it and I died and lost my fire aspect sword. And I was really genuinely quite gutted about that. <laughs> um, would I rather live in a kangaroo's pouch or a tortoise shell? Um, I guess a, ooh, a kangaroo pouch I imagine being warmer and it means like, you could, like you're you getting carried around but then in a tortoise shell you've got independence and it'll be so easy to just be like no I'm safe I'm protected and if it rains like you'll be kept dry as well um, in the shell. I'm going to go with tortoise shell I think that's what I'm going to go with um, favourite my Minecraft series? Um, I guess probably my Mock World with no name again. Um, I it's my favourite only because it's my series. It's my my series on my own. Like it's just me. Um, it's my world. Like I love my Dreamland because it was like my first um ever series. But that's going to be coming back soon. Um, now Zoe's back from university. And then like, obviously I've enjoyed doing this, um, challenging myself, um, doing different buildings and stuff like that. Um, I love Marvelous Mountain with Tomahawk, um, just because, again, that's one of my first series. Um, Fridays with Nessie Mini always has me in hysterics, the same with when we used to do Lucky Block Friday. So I've got loads of really good series that I enjoy doing, but um, and One Life, I'm really enjoying One Life at the moment. Um, but My World With No Name is my world and I love it. I would quickly explain as well, loads of people seem to get, um, like people are like, I don't understand, like it has a name because you call it the world with no name, but I had, I called it the world with no name be until it had a name and I asked everyone to vote what they wanted it to be called and so um, everyone voted and everyone voted for it to get called the world with no name, so anyone who's new that's why it's called that. So I'm aware it does technically have a name, but everyone voted that to be the name. So that's what we went with. Um, do I have a secret talent? Probably not. No, I don't think so. I guess I, Irish dancing is the one thing that not everyone knows about. The fact that I do, did Irish dancing. Um, I don't really do it anymore. Um, oh, lots of people keep asking me to do more episodes with Stampy. No. <laughs> I want people to come to channel to come to my channel to watch me, not to watch Stampy. Um, I don't want to get known just as a sister. Like this is my channel, not his. <laughs> I don't want it all to just be about him. Um, if you want to watch videos with him, you can go to his channel. That's how it works. Would I rather live in uh, 1900 or the year 3000? I guess. I'm going to go with the year 3000 because um, obviously I know what, well I wasn't around in the year 1900 but because of history and stuff I know what happened. I guess because I'm nosy and curious I'm going to say the year 3000 because I'm intrigued to know what will happen. Will Minecraft still be a thing then? Will, I don't know. Will we all have flying cars? Who knows what will happen? I wonder what the, what our phones will be like. I run, wonder if in the year 3000, our phones will be like 
in our heads. It would be like a chip in our head, like our SIM card would be in our head and it would just be like, it would ring in your ear. And if you double blink, it like answers the phone or something. Maybe, potentially. I would say like the year 3000, that would be, I wonder what else there would be in the year 3000. That would be really cool, like just like a double blink. The only thing is, is if you get something in your eye and you double blink and then you accidentally call someone or something. So maybe that won't work. We'd have to come up with a better way for calling people or answering the phone. But that that would be really cool if it was like you didn't have to hold the phone. Maybe you could like just um like you would be able to see, like watch stuff, but just in your eyes. So like you know you're do you don't need anything in front of you. It's almost like it plays in your imagination. So you could watch our videos in your imagination. That would be quite cool. I might have invented something here, guys. I'm gonna go on Dragon's Den. Have I seen a real bush baby? I think I have in a zoo once, but that was before I was a bush baby, and so I didn't really take note of it. Um, I've seen pictures of them, but I don't think I've seen one in real life. I went to the zoo the other day, and they had things that were like similar to bush babies, but wasn't an actual bush baby. Um, it was really super cute, though. Um, and then, yeah. Do I prefer tea or coffee? Neither. I don't drink them. <laughs> I don't like either. I don't drink, um, yeah, I, I just don't like it. I, I, where I don't like milk, I would have to have it with like no milk and stuff. I like, um, I like peppermint tea and like fruit tea and things like that, but, um, I don't like normal tea. Um, do I have any tattoos? Yes, I do. <laughs> And where is Zoe? So Zoe has been away at university, which is why the dreamland has kind of been put on hold because where she's not around here anymore and we record it, um, it's recorded together, where it's she sat in the room with me. So obviously when she's at university, we can't do that. Um, but it will be coming back and we'll be recording it like really in bulk. The only problem with that is, is obviously if something's happened or you're giving advice, um, we wouldn't necessarily be able to respond to that advice until like quite a bit later because it would be pre-recorded but um it will be coming back though i'm really excited it's going to be a brand new world and we're going to be doing like those really cool things so really really excited about that um but obviously zoe's work her coursework and her education is like a lot more important so um, and also when she comes back, I'd, like if she's only back for like two days, I don't want to just be recording with her the whole time. Like we often like go out and do things, go out for lunch and actually just like kind of enjoy catching up and because where she's like one of my closest friends and we obviously used to see each other quite a lot, but I don't get to see her very often now. So I don't want to spend that time I get with her, like just recording. So, um, the, but the dream line will be coming back and we, she's actually back from university at the moment and she's back all summer. So um, hopefully we're gonna get really ahead and I'll get to see loads of her and it's gonna be really, really, really nice. So I'm really, really super excited about that. Um, so we're going to be getting Squashy in in a second um, to show her what we've done. So if you haven't guessed so far, we have tackled the sign that's pirate. So I'm kind of thinking of this as like a toy boat. So it's as if like, because obviously it's a big picnic bench. So this would be like the child's toy boat, like just that he had been like playing in the water with kind of thing. Um, Ideally, I would have liked to do like a big child like leaning over it like as if they're playing But um, I don't think I'm gonna have time for that because the series is slowly coming to an end now So it's meant to sort of be more finishing touches and stuff now, but I've still got another sign to complete Which will be next episode and then um, after that we will um, kind of do the finishing touches, like the little details, and give like a little fly around and a tour. So to remind you guys of everything that has been done in this build so far, because um, there's like sometimes like, I keep forgetting about like the picnic basket and stuff like that, the cinema room, and then every now and then it will, oh yeah, there's that bit as well, like that bit was really cool. Or, yeah, so I'm really, really chuffed with the build, to be honest with you. Um, I've been quite proud of myself, because where I've never, ever done anything like this before, like, I've obviously built, like, the odd house or something in Minecraft, but they tend to be, like, pretty basic or, like, just, like, literally a normal house. So, um, 
yeah like this is the first time I've done something like a little bit different like the birds and the butterflies and the bees and the picnic bench and the advanced redstone and the radio and like the big boat like it's it's kind of it's been uh, I guess like a challenge for me and I am kind of quite chuffed with it so as the episodes are coming towards an end now is your opportunity to ask the really brilliant question so if you have anything to ask let me know in the comments give me loads of amazing amazing questions so we'll see you in a sec so we are back and we have squishy with us we are going to be showing her i couldn't think of my oh. words then <gasps> oh wait because the series is coming to the end and she's just wrecking the joint so i didn't mean it and it's fine it's fixed Okay. Not okay, duck. Yeah, Stand I in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll stop being angry at you now, and we're going to okay. show you the child's oh. toy ship that they have, that they're playing in the water Whoa. while the parents are at the picnic. It's your pirate That boat. is amazing. And there's a chicken. Is this my captain? Well, there were um, <laughs> pirates on the boat, but apparently <laughs> they've disappeared. And pirates. there was there was a pirate riding the oh! chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Yeah, they do look like pirates and little I... eye patches. <laughs> they put perfect. them all over the place. Taking but the there is things like in it as well. So um, if you go into like the little room up here. Oh, I want to go down there. Where, where, where? Oh. And this is your little like captain's room. Wait, where are you? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I lost you. I've lost on my own boat. This is like the oh, captain's room, so we can this? like sit here and uh -huh. be like, oh, scrub the decks. Oh, scrub the decks. <laughs> so that's exactly <laughs> what captains do. Oh. And he's got like some armor. Oh, and I then see. also oh, you're not allowed down in here. here. Oh, probably shut the door. Uh, yeah. Down Whee! this bit. Whee! Oh, they're oh. all coming! They're all coming down! <laughs> they're following us. Up. Should we hit one? <laughs> no. They're all gonna come and attack us. Oh dear. Um, not all the chests are full, only the bottom four, but there's like some some of the treasures oh, that you Oh yeah, pumpkin pie, gold, emeralds, diamond. This is amazing. This is cool. <laughs> Make the zombie pig moment angry. No, they're not. I'm gonna no. see if they follow us. Oh look, they are coming now. <laughs> they're all trying to get down. Why are they all trying to get down? Hello. Out of the way. Shrub the deck. <laughs> I want to see if they'll oh. attack. I don't think they will. Is that one fly? Oh, look, he's stuck on the fence. He's dancing. <laughs> he's dancing. <laughs> he's living on the edge. <laughs> so, guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Squishy's House. Go and check out what she's done for me as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing it. So I'll get to see it in a second as well. Whoop, whoop. And we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye. Whee. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where are you? Just like fell past. <laughs>